All right guys, so we're gonna change things up on this vlog a little bit today. Last night, I was watching the Oscars and I was looking for some sort of inspiration, some kind of women's cut that I could do. I didn't find anything, but what I did like was Leonardo DiCaprio had kind of a round layered haircut. It was very classic looking, so that really inspired me to do this vlog today. Um, so I wanna show you guys my end result. First, let's show you what he looked like. Okay, now this is what we did today. Um, so very similar look, nice deep part, round layers throughout the back, a little bit of round graduation on the top. Then we over direct the front to pop a little bit of extra disconnection in the front and there you go, you got the haircut. So I hope you guys enjoy this step-by-step -step that we're about to do. Make sure you post in the comments below. Let me know if you wanna see more men's cutting like this um, as we move forward with this vlog. And remember, I'm looking for ideas, so post them. Whatever you guys are looking to see, I'd love to know. Um, here we go with the step-by-step. -step. Thank you guys for watching. All right guys, so the most important part of this haircut is the parting. So making sure that you place that part exactly where you want it. We're gonna go just above Prietal Ridge on the left-hand side. We're gonna use our Mizutani DB20 scissor for the haircut. It's a 5.7 inch scissor. This is pretty much my workhorse scissor. Um, it's got the ball bearing screw, works really smooth. So if you guys don't have a scissor, definitely check it out on Free Salon Education. Um, I'm gonna go through, we're gonna start by creating our round layers. So I'm following, I just cut my guideline uh, right in the uh, sideburn area. And now I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna follow that guide. It's definitely gonna be a traveling guide throughout the haircut um, because we're creating those layers and we're working diagonal back on the head. I'm using the wide teeth of my comb because I want a little bit of freedom in the tension but uh, not, you don't want to work with too wide of teeth because you might lose your lines throughout the haircut. So uh, this is a 334 comb from YS Park. I uh, really dig that comb for this cut. So working diagonal back, taking small sections, small partings, making sure that as I'm working through, I can always see my guide. And if you can see right there, I scoop up a little bit of the old and I bring in the new. So I don't want to take all of the hair that I cut below it. And when you start doing that, what happens is you drop your elevation too far and then you build up way too much weight. The great thing about this haircut, the thing I love most about it is how soft it falls and, and how it kind of blends itself into the back. So uh, you don't want to take too much, you don't want to create too much graduation in this cut. So that's why we call it a round layered cut. So keep that elevation nice and high. Hardest thing about cutting round, a round shape, is just staying consistent as you work your way around the head. Because if you think about when you're cutting triangular or you're cutting square, most of the time your body is staying in one position uh, as you make your cuts. When you're cutting round, you're constantly moving around the head, so it's a lot harder to stay consistent with your body position and all of that. So really key things to focus on is your elevation throughout this cut make sure that every time you pull that hair out from the head it's exactly how high you wanted it to be i tend to um when i get inconsistent with this type of cut it's because i'm you're constantly keeping your elbow in the air and your elbow wants to drop the entire time so as long as you keep focused on where that arm is that's holding the hair you're going to be good to go so we wrap the round part of the shape. We, we follow the head shape all the way down into the nape. Um, but my key focus right now is pretty much from the crown down to the occipital bone. What's happening in the nape, I don't really care about yet uh, because I'm gonna go back through and we're gonna kind of crisscross when I hit the other side of the head. So the key things I'm focusing on are definitely the crown all the way down to occipital. So you can see my elevation is a little bit lower at this point. The reason it's lower and what that's gonna do for me is it's building up the weight in the crown area. So it, it gives a nicer shape to your head shape. If, if you take the layers way too far up there, then you're gonna lose that shape in the haircut. So when, from a side profile view, the haircut's not gonna look as good. So working into the nape, but again, like I said, that's not really my worry uh, because I'm, I'm already gonna go through and recut that again when I hit the other side bringing everything straight out to me. I 
I really didn't want to skimp on this haircut at all. I wanted to show you guys pretty much every single section that I cut because I think it's useful and because our elevation does shift and change throughout the haircut. What I was trying to show you guys right there was the key part of this because you start to work in. A lot of people want to over direct it uh, towards the opposite side, which is going to grow too much length and weight uh, to the right side. So I want to make sure I keep my elevation nice and high when I hit that corner. Um, now we're going to work our way back exactly the same way. Um, I guarantee I'll get this question about how do I make sure that both lengths are the same. I started off with pretty much finger length hair, so I know that both sides are going to be similar. I'm also going to go through at the very end and do some scissor over comb, so that will help blend it as well. So it's just making sure that the links are very similar. Once you get this first section cut, you can always go through and just uh, stand in front of the, the client that you're working on and make sure that the sides match up before you move on. So you can see my elevation. It is nice and high, um, but if you were really technically looking at this, you would say that there is a slight buildup of weight throughout this cut. So it could be um, a graduated haircut as well. You'll see that weight line now definitely because as the head is peeling away and I keep bringing down this hair towards myself, I'm building up that weight and kind of showing off the head shape uh, with this haircut. During this cut when I was filming it, it's, it's definitely difficult to get that angle so I'm glad it kind of turned out hope you guys saw it well enough so we're going through this is where we're blending both sides so I did talk about and uh, at the beginning on the left hand side of the head that we would end up crisscrossing so what's happened what happened there was we crisscross we connect the two corners and now I'm going through and I'm just cross checking real quick so I went diagonal forward or diagonal back with all of the haircuts so now I'm going diagonal forward to cross check now we're going to work into the crown. This is going to be on top of my fingers, just connecting um, from the guide from below and working those pie-shaped sections around the crown of the head. You can see my finger angle kind of works its way up. So when we get to the actual parting, where the parting is on the head, that's going to be the longest point. So shortest point is where we're connecting it. Longest point is at the part. You'll be able to see that angle a little bit better here. Um, sorry, that was right on the edge of the camera. And that is the wet part of the cut. When I blow it dry, I like to use a comb. Uh, pretty much any short hair, I like to use a comb. This is the 332 comb from YS Park. I'm going to use that for all my scissor over comb along with my Mizutani Solids, which is a 7-inch scissor, um, just to go through and get a uh, nice scissor over comb feel and taper in the sides just a little bit. Working the back blade, the steady blade along the ear, just so that I don't cut anybody, and I can go through and just take out that long hair around the ear, detail it up. Same thing on the opposite side, keeping that steady blade against the bone of the comb and working my way up the head and then detailing around the ear. All right, we're going to use Rusal. This is the blue Rusal. It's a, it's a really nice firm hold pomade. Um, so it's going to give that kind of wet look to the hair, but it also has a, a nice hold. So you don't have to worry about um, some pomades are really wet. This one's not wet whatsoever. Um, so we'll work that through the hair, get that parting right. And then this is our end result of the haircut. And there you go. There's our men's round layer haircut inspired by Leonardo DiCaprio. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you thought of the new men's cut in the comments below. Also, hit that share button, hit the like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks.